All right, so when it comes to large SUVs, I still believe America is king. This GMC Denali looks excellent. And I've ridden in a new, this is a Denali XL, and I've ridden in the suburban equivalent of this thing. And it had the 5.7 liter engine and it had great power and it drove like a car. So looking at this one, you have great wheels. The headlights are super dope. I love that weave in the grill, whatever you call it. Um, the hood is just strong. It's boxy and unapologetically an SUV. And when you hop in these things, they're not doing too much. Um, you do have wood inlay. You have some stitching here. It's soft touch. These buttons are nice. And this running board is automatic, as are the front seats. Um, as you can see, you have a pretty good array of buttons here. Automatic headlights. You have an adjustable suspension. The center instrument cluster is digital. Um, and then this is pretty straightforward. You're not doing too much with this. This screen looks super nice. I love how it's laid in here. Again, I love, love, love American ease of use. So this is super easy. Um, and then you have automatic climate control. You turn the power on here. That's super easy. The GMC logo lights up. I love, this reminds me of that expedition I was looking at, but this is a bit more refined. I love the stitching. I love the Denali in here. The seats are comfortable. Um, they're not as comfortable as like an Armada because they're a little bit more firm, but you have electronic charging down here. This is a 2021 SD card slot, USB-C, USB-A, traditional smokers outlet here. You have a large cubby here which is pretty traditional. You can put your phone here, your drinks here. And I love that this thing has captain's chairs. And so you have seating for seven. So we'll go ahead and check that out. But I mean, you have a touch screen here, super easy layout, press home. That's pretty simple. And when you connect your phone to these things, Apple CarPlay is relatively easy. We'll go ahead and cut that off. So even opening the back door, as you can see, that running board comes out. Step in is not too bad. And you have good room here. I'm over six feet tall. These speakers, or excuse me, these screens in the back are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, this is probably like a 12 or 13 inch screen. You have climate control back here, heated seats, charge ports here, HDMI input here. That's dope. Um, yeah, these seats are super comfortable. And then it's pretty easy to get into this back seat too. So climbing back here, like I said, I mean, I could sit back here on a road trip. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to sit back here more than four hours. But if you had somebody under six feet, you could do that or just put them in the center area. You do have cup holders here, which I love. Um, So this seat does pull down and pull up. So that's such ease of use in getting out of this vehicle. And you can also just pull these cords right here to get out of this vehicle. So that that is super, super functional. And you have a ton of space back here. So we'll go ahead and open this back hatch and see what we're looking at. And I always love chrome tips on door switches. It just adds that touch of class that I love so much. And I don't know if this, let's see this back hatch. Ooh, it does clear that. So it's automatic. Um, and this is a space with the third row up. So this is quite a bit of space back here. I mean, it's not a ton, ton of space, but it is a good amount of space. This is the XL version. So you do get a bit more. And then you have a little bit of space under here. And guys, look, you have so much space with this third row back down. I mean, this is an excellent, excellent SUV. Nobody does it like Americans. Um, you even have a traditional power outlet back here, which is dope. This does let the second row up. Um, obviously, I've already done that. And then you have some anchor hooks back here. But again, it's not doing too much. Um, Good carpeted area. I like these skid plates here. 
All right, and we'll put this back down. And the last thing I'll say about the Yukon and other GMC or GM SUVs at the, is that the back of these SUVs look so good. This one's backed up to a guardrail, but this looks very, very premium, very nice, especially at night. These array of lights look very good. Nobody does it like GM uh, in this space. Just an excellent SUV, some strong wheels with good rubber so the ride is not compromised. Excellent.